Hello once again, everybody. Alias here. I've spent the last three weeks in England, so in case my accent acts a bit weirdly, I would like to apologize in advance. In that case, please blame their government. And their cookies. Their cookies are delightful. Oh no, it's happening already. I am turning into a tea bag. Anyway, today we're gonna be experimenting on speed. And your question might be, why does speed matter all that much? What even is speed? Speed. I am speed. To put it simple, geometry dash icons act differently at different speeds, and that highly affects the difficulty of the level. Faster speeds usually mean a less predictable gameplay, but slower speeds are a bit more passive. So what I'm gonna be doing today is testing how far different icons can jump at different speeds. But before we get into that, I'd just like to let you know that we're approaching 90,000 subscribers. We're actually really close, and for every single subscriber that's missing from that, there's a few hundred as of now, I am literally going to do one push-up at the end of this video. All right, now we have everything set up, let's jump straight into it. Obviously, to establish my experimental superiority over this game, I have to make myself an experimental playground. And now everything I have to do is just choose a song. Pretty much everything here is copyrighted. Finally, after 38 pages of songs, I have finally found it. The most intimidating song there is in this game. Absolutely perfect for my playground. Sounds great. Begin the experiment. Okay, so since obviously there's only two icons that can jump, I'm first gonna take a look at how far the cube can jump, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the robot. And the way I'm gonna be doing this is I'm gonna go from slowest to fastest speeds. So the first thing waiting in line is seeing how far the cube can jump with half speed, is that how they call it? Yeah, anyway, I heard the cube actually struggles with half speed and can only jump two spikes, but I don't know how true it is, so I'm gonna see it for myself. They lied to me. Also, this is not the best background. I'm gonna change it a bit. There we go. It took a bit of time, but the background is all set. Now, where was I? So, as we could see, the cube could obviously jump over two spikes. I have to bump up the difficulty. I'm gonna add three small spaces at first and see if it can jump through that. Actually, four. I think I can do four. Oh. Okay, this goes over my icon. I, maybe that wasn't that good of an idea. Okay, everything's fixed, I hope. And now I just need this cube to jump over the spikes. Well, that was not hard. So four spaces is not enough. How about we bump it up to five? Six. I doubt it can jump over this, but I mean... Oh, so two spikes plus six spaces is still doable. How about an eight? I don't think this is doable. I mean, it doesn't look doable to me. This game's full of surprises, though. Let's see if it's possible. Yeah, I thought so. How about a 10? This can't be possible, can it be? This genuinely looks like something that would be at the end of a top 10 demon. But is it doable? That's my question now. Okay, I actually don't think this is doable anymore. Yeah, I don't think this is possible. Even if I time it in a pixel perfect matter, this is no longer possible. Yeah, so 10 is a no-go. Let's get back to 9. If 9 is possible, then that's the limit. Because we know that 8 is possible and 10 is not possible. So if 9 is possible, then, then that's how far half speed goes. Okay, this looks like it could be possible because I'm dying on the outer edge of the spike. Oh my god, it actually was possible, I knew it. Okay, so 9 is possible, 10 is not possible, so 9's the limit for half speed. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Next up, we got the cube and one speed. Or normal speed? I don't know, I'm just gonna call it one speed. To start this off, I made the most OG obstacle in this game that everybody loves, the triple spike. And since obviously the cube can jump over a triple spike, I should add a few spaces to make it a bit harder. Let's say triple spike and five. Well, let's see if we can jump past it. Yep. All right, so triple spike plus five is doable. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say the limit is eight. This doesn't look that possible anymore. And it just looks so off. I have to move this one in the center. Now it looks better but also more impossible. Okay, I know that there's a bug with which the cube is actually able to jump higher if it bounces off the ground. So I'm gonna make it so that I have to bounce off the ground before I jump over the spikes. I'm actually interested now. Can the cube jump over eight spaces? Okay, so not even with the cube's full capability is it possible to jump over these spikes. That means I'm gonna have to decrease it to 7, but then this is gonna look off again. Okay, is 7 the limit to what this cube can jump over with one speed? Okay, so it's possible with 7 spaces, but not with 8. That means that the limit of how far the one speed cube can jump is 3 spikes and 7 spaces. Next speed! Okay, so next we're gonna be doing the double speed. I don't know anything about double speed, so this is gonna be interesting. First, I believe I'm gonna start with the quadruple spike. That should be possible to jump over, and if it's not, I'm genuinely gonna be surprised. 
Yep, not surprised at all. All right, so we got four spikes in the line and I'm gonna add five spaces. This still looks doable, but is it? Let's see. Yeah, definitely doable. Five's not enough. Let's do six, seven, eight, nine. This looks like it could be the limit. And I'm also gonna center this because it just doesn't look good. So is four spikes and nine spaces the limit of the double speed cube? Okay, personally to me, this does not look doable. And it doesn't seem doable either. So it's probably not. Okay, nine's too much. Let's try eight. Eight could be it. Let's see. If eight is doable, then that's the limit. And it's doable. Okay, so we got the answer to that pretty quickly. Nine isn't possible, eight is possible. So the limit for double speed cube is four spikes and eight spaces. And now it's time to move on to the next speed. Triple speed is what was once known as the terror of this game. It was the fastest speed until the next one came out, but we're gonna dedicate some time to that later. Right now, I wanna see how far the cube can jump with triple speed. I'm gonna try five spikes at first. So far, with each speed, I could increase the spike count by one. But wait a second. When I was beating all easy levels, remember there was a level called the double triple trial. It had triple speed and six spike jumps. So judging by that, the cube should be able to jump over six spikes at triple speed. Did I just embarrass myself? Oh yeah, I did. That wasn't triple, that was quadruple speed. There's always something that has to go wrong in the video. Okay, at least we know that it can jump over five spikes. I'm gonna take a guess and do four spaces at first. I think I trust myself enough to be able to do four. So let's see how far from the limit we were. Okay, four is still possible, so I can extend it by a few spaces. Five or six, I think either five or six are the limit. Five at first, because it was genuinely hard with four already. Okay, five is possible still. I took a guess and said either five or six, so now it has to be six, knowing that five is possible. Let's do this. Okay, as it turns out, the double jump strat doesn't work on six either. So now I can determine that the limit for cube at triple speed is five spikes and five spaces. Knowing that, it's time to move on to the last speed for the cube. Now that we know all the other answers, I can select the highest speed in this game. How far can the cube at four speed jump? Okay, the double triple trial had six spikes, as I said before. So six spikes is definitely possible with four speed. Yeah, not the easiest. Still, I think we could go further. I'm gonna try three spaces at first. All right, so that was three spaces, right? So it must be either four or five. I'm gonna say four. Okay, four is still possible, so it must be five. Actually, just to spite this game, I'm gonna move straight to six spikes and six spaces. If this is possible, then that might be the limit to how far the cube can jump at all. So if you want to make an extreme demon, keep this in mind. Okay, as it turns out, even that is actually possible. However, I don't think seven spaces is possible. It really shouldn't be. If it is, I'm actually gonna be surprised. Is six spikes and seven spaces the absolute limit to how far the cube can jump in this game? Let's find out. I was wrong again. Six spikes and seven spaces is still possible. So I'm gonna take one step further and go with eight spaces. If this is possible, then my mind will be blown. I am so good at this game. What is this? Six spikes and eight spaces is still possible. I actually thought this would have stopped at like six spaces, but we've come so far, I'm gonna do six spikes and nine spaces. So is this possible? Okay, what? Where does this end? Am I gonna have to go all the way to seven spikes? I don't know where this ends, but I'm gonna keep on trying until it does. Six spikes and 10 spaces, everybody. Okay, so I've been trying for a while and I don't believe that this is actually possible, but I still haven't gone through this with the double jump strategy. Now, at least we know if it's possible with the double jump strategy, then that's the limit. Okay, with the double jump strat, six spikes, ten spaces is doable. And this is the limit to how far the Geometry Dash cube icon can jump on its own. Six spikes and ten spaces. And on this note, I'm gonna conclude this part of the experiment. I was gonna do the robot too, but this has already taken too long and I'm kind of running out of time, so sorry about that. I'm gonna make a part two where I'm gonna be testing out how far the robot can jump though, so stay tuned for that. Until then, all of you, stay good, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching, and I just remembered I still have to do the push-ups. Here we go!